Hey guys, what's going on? Today is day two of fishing out of Panama City with Captain Josh of Heritage Excursions. And today's plan was to head out, fish for a couple hours, catch some fish to be able to come back to this beautiful island to clean them up and then cook them up. And that's exactly what we did. I'm holding a fresh bowl of ceviche here. This fish was swimming only a couple hours ago. Victor whipped up some red snapper on the half shell. It's gonna be an awesome video, so I hope you enjoy. Good morning. Good morning. You guys ready to go? Right on. Brooks hooked up. Alright, drop down a vertical jig. Got my first fish on of the day. Ray just caught a keeper, a red snapper. I'm hoping that's what I got on too. We'll see. All we needed is a few for lunch. It's feeling like a snapper. He was angry when he bit. Oh, Ray's on up here too. We're doubled up. Brooks got a snapper. He might be big enough. Two at a time. There we go. He's hooked good. On the jig. He wasn't coming on good. 17, baby. He'll eat. There we go. That's what we needed. Yesterday we were getting some beasts, but today we're just looking for some lunch. And these little nice ones are gonna be perfect for ceviche today. Awesome. Got him on, Ray Ray. Oh yeah. I think we got a nice little fish. Red snapper. Oh yes. You might make it. He makes the loop. He's a keeper. Yeah. Nice. Oh, Brooke got a bite. Oh, Drop back down. Get him. Nice fish, right? What does that mean? Yeah. All right. Hooked up again on the jig. This one's definitely not as big as the first one. I tried away from you. I just run towards you. It's not fighting my phone. Oh, look at that, man. That's a big old beeliner. That's as big as the one you caught yesterday. Christ. That is a stud. Look at that. Can you hold him jig. up for me? Yeah. Nice big beeliner on the jig. Check that out. Nice, beautiful. That's almost as big as my snapper was. Almost. Oh, come on. As soon as you hit the bottom. No, I was right. just about to drop back down because I didn't get hit. We're only fishing in 145 feet of water. And if I don't get hit on like the first like 10 cranks up, I usually drop it right back down because we're sitting in the same spot so I'm not drifting. And I was about to drop it back down and it got hit, so that was pretty high up. Another... Oh God, it's a Look stud bee liner. Oh my That's God. That's even bigger than the last one. They're high up. Look at that thing. Oh, you spit the jig right there. There we go. Another big... Vermilion snapper, beeliner. Awesome. All right, got another one. This one was high up again. Ooh. Whoa. He just, Kobe, adjust at your snapper. Kobe, adjust at your snapper. Watch it. Victor's using live bait. Ray was using dead bait, and I'm using the jig over here. And everything's getting made at this spot. This is a nicer fish. Oh, yeah. Anything that pulls drag is a nice fish. Watch you hook the freaking cove on there, Brooke. It's up top. It's way up high. Maybe it's Bonita? Right right yeah. Not excited, but it's just a Bonita. Hold. Well, didn't care about keeping him anyway, so that's okay that the hook's pulled. We caught our six red snappers. Ray caught a giant mangrove snapper. We got some good bee liners as well as Ray caught a scamp grouper all within. How long were we fishing at that spot for? 45 minutes to an hour, maybe? Maybe 45. 
45 minutes that we got it done just in one spot. We had to move around and work a little bit to try to find the fish, oh, but no. once one we found them, no. it was easy. Well, our plan was to do a quick six snapper, red snapper limit. We did it and now we're heading back in. We're gonna go to the island, clean these fish, and then cook them up for you, so stay tuned. All right guys, so we have made it to this little island we got here. We got the cutting board out, we got the grill out. Victor's gonna grill some fish, and I'm going to make ceviche. So, I asked the experts, AKA Ray, what would be the best fish to do ceviche with, and he's saying the scamp. So that's what we're doing, we're gonna do the scamp. I've never had scamp grouper before, but I've heard very good things about them. So there's the scamp grouper. These are what, 16 inches you're allowed to keep them? It's smaller than the normal groupers that we catch, but these guys are good. So we're gonna flay them up now. Small but big in flavor. Favorite eating fish, isn't it? It's my favorite shallow water grouper to eat, yes. And by shallow water, you're talking about? Less than 300 feet. You start getting to the deep water groupers, 350 plus, then you get into your yellow edges and your snowy groupers, tile fish. It's on a whole nother level then. Today we only fished for a couple hours and Captain Josh does a trip where you can go out, fish for a couple hours, and then come back in and he'll cook for you. So normally he's the one cleaning and cooking for you, but today Victor and I are. And he also does full day trips. Yesterday we went out, we fished all day and absolutely slayed. So if you wanna do that, you can certainly go out, fish all day long, fill up the boat if you want, or you can go out for a little bit and then come here, hang out with your family, eat some food, swim around, have some fun. And heck, you don't even have to go fishing if you don't want. We'll take you out here if you just want to come hang out at the island. Maybe you just want to come to Panama City and not hang out at the beach with all of other people. Want to come hang out on a boat? We'll do that for you too. Oh, that's some pretty stuff, isn't it, bro? Look at that white meat, huh? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. This morning, at what? Four o'clock in the morning, Vic? We cut all the stuff up for ceviche already, so everything's prepped. So the first thing that I gotta do is clean these sides off this fish, chop it up into pieces, and then get it into some lime juice. So there's our first side. Now, big groupers have cheek meat, but with this little guy, I might only get a penny size amount out of there, so I'm not gonna bother doing that on this guy. But if you had a big one, you definitely wanna get the cheek meat. You can also make fish head soup out of this guy. He'd be perfect for that. Awesome. Pop in this guy's eyes. I don't care where you are, if you're filleting a fish and you're throwing it in the water, you gotta pop his eyes. Someone somewhere is gonna find this guy floating if you don't, and they're gonna hate you for it, so always pop the eyes. Look at the chokers already after him. Look at all those pinfish. So you guys saw us fishing pinfish a lot the last two days. If you look behind me, right on that grouper carcass, that's all pinfish, or what Josh and Ray call them, chofers. And the bay is full of them, isn't it? Yeah, loaded, loaded down. Normally, when we fillet fish, you're back at home, and the only hose you have is a freshwater hose, and you never want to bray your fish off with freshwater. But here we are in beautiful, clean salt water, so I don't care about spraying my fish off with this. So I knocked the sides off with my favorite six inch curved boning knife by Dexter. And to take the skin off, I'm switching to eight inch flexible narrow fillet knife. It's the perfect thing for skinning them. Start at the tail side. No bloodline on that fish. No bloodline. This was a nice fish for this. Dude. There you go, there's your skin. With almost every fish, you got your pin bones right here. And if there was ever a time where you really didn't want to miss a bone, that would be with ceviche. 
So definitely make sure you don't have any bones left in there. Yeah, Josh, good call, or Ray, good call on the uh, skin. So now I'm going to make strips out of this, just like this. And then I'm gonna start chopping it into small pieces. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna have Captain Josh tell you guys a little bit about the different charters that he offers for you. So we run trips that range anywhere from four hours to two days. We recommend for bottom fishing between six and 12 hours. We charge by the hour. We also offer island trips and combo excursions like we're doing today. You can check us out at heritageexcursionsfl.com or give me a call or shoot me a text message at 850-258-5353. On our six to 12 hour bottom reef trips, we target red snapper, vermilion snapper, white snapper, and a variety of groupers. The longer you fish, the bigger the fish will be and the more plentiful they'll be. I will have all of his information linked down in the description so you guys can check that all out. As well as the other videos that we made on this trip because yesterday was killer and we're gonna have some awesome videos from that trip too. So make sure you check those out as well if you haven't watched them. If you go to the website and you don't see exactly what you're looking for or something doesn't fit your budget, Give us a call and let's see if we can't put something together specifically for you. Not everybody has to fish all day. There's nothing wrong with going catch a few, throwing them back and spending the rest of the day at the island and we can definitely accommodate you. I'm almost finished cutting all my pieces, but gotta get myself a nice little beverage. If you guys are coming to Panama City, you gotta check out this. What the <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hold on. Can we just... Let me see if I can do it again. Hold on. It was... <laughs> <laughs> it's a bird. I thought maybe like a pelican was hung up in her rod. Where do you have to put that in the video? Well, what yeah, I was going to say is if you're coming to Panama City, you got to check out this new brewery. It's called History Class Brewery. Victor and I and the guys went there yesterday. We tried a bunch of different beers. Everything's really good. Bring yourself some on the boat. This is called passion fruit. I mean, how good does that sound to be drinking on a boat at an island? Cheers. All right, guys, cheers. 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 Nice. All right, so here is my scamp grouper all chopped up into nice little pieces. Now it's time to add the lime juice. And I'm gonna just add the lime juice first before um, all the other vegetables. Now with ceviche, the acid of the lime juice is what's technically cooking the fish. Now, cooking means with heat, so it's not technically cooking it. What heat does is it changes the like chemical balance, I believe, of like fish. So what the acid, the acid of the citrus is doing is basically doing the same thing. So really, it's kind of cooking it, but not really because you're not using heat, if that makes sense. Yeah, denatures the protein. Denatures the protein, there we go. So I'm gonna squeeze these limes into here and then get this baby in the cooler on some ice. And then Victor's gonna start cooking up his fish. How long do you leave it in the lime juice? Um, psh, we could probably eat this in 30 minutes, but you leave it sit a little bit longer and it's just gonna get better. So I have about one, two, three, four, five, six six limes and now i'm going to add the juice of one lemon make sure you don't get any seeds in there we've had our fish marinating for probably an hour in the lime and one lemon juice now it's time to add our veggies we got some yellow pepper and with this you want to chop everything kind of small if you leave your pieces too big you're gonna end up getting bites of just vegetables. So you want everything kind of small. I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up using all of this yet. We got some tomato. How to do tomato. We got some scallion. And ceviche is also something that you can do whatever you like. If you love mango, throw some mango in there. If you love cucumber, celery, there is lots of different ways to do ceviche, so it's really up to you and your preference of what you like. Here's some red onion. You can also throw some Tabasco in there. We're not in a kitchen, so we're working with what we got, but salt, pepper, some Tabasco. Jalapeno. Jalapeno, if you like heat, throw some jalapeno in there. Now we're going with um, cilantro. You better dump that whole bag in there, young lady. You're gonna kill me if I don't do it, aren't you? 
Victor, you have a lot of cilantro lovers on the boat. Victor loves cilantro. We're gonna we're gonna see what that does. Now, not only does your six-inch Dexter fillet your fish for you, <laughs> but it also <laughs> stirs your ceviche. Look at that. I think we're gonna end up throwing all that yellow pepper in there. So, Brick, why did you add your lime juice first instead of all the vegetables? Um. You want to completely cover all of your fish in the juice. So if I added the vegetables first, I would have needed a lot more lime juice. And I'm not cooking my vegetables, so I only need to cook the fish. I'm doing more tomatoes too. <laughs> he, he's armed and ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. What do you think? Are you kidding me? It's going to be the best ceviche we ever had. Get your chips ready. Oh, Wait, y'all better you look need, out. Don't threaten more. me with a good time. Let's take a little dip. Take a dip. Dippage. Take a dip in the ceviche pool of love. Oh, yeah. Oh man! What are y'all gonna eat? <laughs> <laughs> that is so good, dude. Y'all gotta try it with the scamp. Y'all haven't had scamp? Never. Nope. You definitely gotta try it. First time ever having scamp grouper, and I know it's gonna taste real good, especially because we're on a boat. I don't think I've ever had grouper ceviche. Mm. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. It's amazing, isn't Group, it? Oh man. Shout out to Ray. <laughs> Ray's the one. He goes, oh, yeah. you guys better make it out of scamp. I was about to that make one it out of- That scamp out of Oh my gosh. I was like, man. I was about to make it out of the red snapper. I'll tell you what. Scamp grouper, first time I've ever had it, the texture, amazing. Like melt in your mouth, amazing. Oh yeah. So, so good. good. And another thing about ceviche, you want to have a bite of everything when you're going with it. Cut everything small. You don't want to have giant pieces of pepper and end up only with a piece of pepper on your chip. Yep. You want to scoop in there, get a little bite of everything so it's just perfect. Amazing. <laughs> Quick scamp story. So for years, every time they caught a scamp on a boat, that was like the captain's fish or the captain's wife fish. To this day, probably, how long, how old's my mom, in her 50s? Yeah. Yeah, she's in her 50s. We're gonna call her 30. So my 30 year old mother to this day, when a scamp's caught on my boat, tries to come down and rob it from the customer. So if you come fishing with us and you catch a scamp, you better look out. Melissa Salls might take it from you. <laughs> That's great. Let's go, babe. Ready? Yep, ready. I'm ready. You're gonna be whacking me in the head the whole time. Probably. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we had an awesome time in Panama City. Absolutely amazing way to end our trip. We had a great day of fishing yesterday, an equally as fun day of fishing today, as well as coming here, cleaning our catch, cooking our catch, enjoying this awesome place. Josh from Heritage Excursions, the real deal. He put us on so many fish that we've never caught. You've never caught a gag grouper. Well, you have caught a gag grouper. I have, but Victor got on his biggest gag grouper yes. ever. So many epic fish. Such a great time. I will have all of Captain Josh's information for Heritage Excursions linked down in the description. Make sure you guys check it out. Come here, check out Panama City. You won't regret it. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.